Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys three of my best render settings or you can say three of my favorite render settings which I use to render my After Effects projects. So there are three types of render setting that I use. The first is to render some kind of footages or you know short videos or short films, music videos and stuff like that. The second one is to render my motion graphics projects and the third one is when I want to render you know something with a transparent background like overlays or lower thirds or title and stuff like that. So let's say I want to render this really nice video but I don't want the file to be pretty huge so the way I render this is I would click on the video then go to composition and add this to render queue. Then I'm going to set this to best settings. Now make sure it's on best settings. It will be on current settings by default. So just change it to the best settings. You can change it from here as well. Then I'm going to click on my output module tab that is lossless and set the format from AVI to QuickTime. Now make sure you have QuickTime player installed. In case if you don't, the link will be in the description so you can go and download it. Then I'm going to go into my format option and set this from animation to H.264. Now this is the best to render this kind of a short films. I really recommend using this settings and hit OK. Then you can also change the audio output. So you can set this to on, off. I prefer this to set on auto. Then I'm going to hit OK. Then you can set your output folder or the output path. So you can also rename this if you want and click on save and render this. So this is the first way that I would like to render my videos. So the second thing, let's say I want to render my motion graphics. Here I have a really nice example which I created. So let's say I want to render this thing. So I can't use the same setting that I used for videos. The reason is the color quality will be really, really dull. And I don't want that. I want this motion graphics to look pretty, you know, energetic. And the color one, I want to pop out, make the colors pop out. So to render this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on any of the layer from the composition. Then go to composition, add to render queue. I'll just delete this one. Then make sure again, make sure that it's set to best setting. Click on lossless and change the format from AVI to QuickTime. Go to format options and set this to animation. Now this may increase the file size a bit, but the quality you're going to get is excellent. So now you can again change it the audio format or the audio output the way you want it. And then I'm going to specify where I want to export it. So you can just specify wherever you want. It's on my desktop by default. And then I'm going to render this thing. Now let's just move on to a third type of render. So here I want to render overlays or lower thirds you can say which I want to later you know composite on my or you know add it on my video. But I don't want a background, you know, now you have this black kind of a background, but I want this to be transparent. So first of all, I'm going to turn on my toggle transparency grid. So make sure it's turned on. So that's how you know it's transparent. Select the layer, go to composition, add to render queue. I'll just delete this again. And then make sure it's set the best setting, go to lossless and set this to quick time again. And this time I'm going to set the format option or leave the format option to animation, but I'm going to change my channels from RGB to RGB plus alpha. So this way it's going to render the alpha channel as well. Then again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my output path where it's going to be export and render this. So these are my three of my favorite render settings that I usually use to, you know, render my projects. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And if it was, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and I'll see you in my next video. Till then take care and thanks for watching guys. I might look like this.